Here we will walk through how to create a challenge. Once logged into the MoveSpring Admin Center, click on the Challenges tab in the navigation bar and then click on Create a Challenge. First, you will set the challenge details. Start by naming your challenge and giving it a description. You can use a description to set a theme, describe the purpose, or provide motivational words to get your participants excited. Next, specify if you are giving out a prize or award for this challenge. If yes, write a prize description. We suggest giving prizes other than money. Intrinsic motivation, such as recognition or a fun experience, is highly effective and can lead to stronger, longer lasting engagement. Then set restrictions and settings. As the administrator of the group, you have the option to make this challenge public or private. If you choose to make the challenge private, users will only be able to join the challenge through a challenge invite link or by the admin manually adding them to the challenge. You may want to keep it private if you're being particular about which users are joining which challenge. However, we recommend leaving the challenge on public. This is the easiest way for users to find and join challenges that you make. Let's see what it looks like when a challenge is public. In the app, users will go to their dashboard and click on Join Challenge. All public available challenge groups will show up in a list. The user just has to press the Join button for the challenge group that they want to join. They will be asked to confirm that they want to join this challenge group, and once confirmed, they are notified that they have successfully joined. It will show up in the upcoming tab on the dashboard. Now that we have covered the public versus private setting, let's finalize our remaining challenge details. Select the date range of your challenge. We suggest giving a week or two of lead time before the challenge starts so that participants have time to properly sign up and connect a device. The next step is to select the challenge mode. Challenge modes are separated by individual and then group and team challenges. In individual modes, users compete as individuals to beat other users or meet a personal goal. Team and group modes combine several users' activity data together for a cumulative score. Advanced challenge modes feature extra fun and extra motivating game components and are only available in our Pro and Ultimate plans. Once you choose the challenge mode, you'll then select the activity metric that you want to compete on, steps or active minutes. Next, you'll have the opportunity to add more modules to your group. We require a minimum of two modules with a maximum of six total modules. This means that you can have two or more challenges running at once, or you can add an engagement module like content or chat to incorporate more than just challenge scores. Press save and continue once you've chosen all modules. The final step is to review your challenge. Here, you can edit challenge details and challenge goals if need be. You also have the option to remove or add another module. When complete, press finish. You will see that your challenge was successfully created. If you chose to make the challenge private, share the link for users to join. If you kept the group public, you don't need to worry about having a challenge join link, as users can join directly in the app. You'll just need to communicate to your users to join your challenge before it starts. Click on View Challenge to view your challenge dashboard. Here, you can edit the challenge by clicking on Edit Challenge Details or delete the challenge by clicking on Delete Challenge. Scroll down to the Challenge Modules section. Here, you will have the option to rearrange the order of your cards as they appear in the app, edit challenge goals, upload content, and more. You may want to reorder the module cards to have a challenge, then content, then a second challenge. Or maybe you want two challenges in a row and then a content card. You'll see a little number in the top right corner of the card. This indicates what order the card will appear in the app dashboard. To reorder the modules card, click on the three lines in the upper left corner and drag that card to the place you would like it to appear in the app. If you click on the Manage Participants tab, you can see the group participants that have populated in the table once the users have joined. As always, you have the ability to add existing users to any challenge by clicking Add User inside the Manage Participants tab. If you have additional questions, please visit help.movespring.com.